Okay, everybody, here we are in the final stages of the chickens hatching. Yeah. Miss Sarah meant to make one more video showing how we were stopping the machine and laying it flat, but I was off by one day on my 21 days, so I had to do it super quick, because as you can see over here in the corner, you see that one egg, the green one right there? There we go. It's starting to pip. You see that? So that's where a baby bird is starting to try to chip its way through. During this time, they need the extra humidity and the temperatures to remain at the same level throughout. And then it's just pretty much crossing our fingers and wondering, are they going to be strong enough to make their way out? Hopefully. See, we got two more green ones over here that are doing the same thing. So Miss Sarah, you can see they're a little wet. Miss Sarah had to be quick. She added some little bit of water to the inside to make sure that I didn't disturb them as they tried to poke through that membrane of the egg and into the outer shell. On the ends of their little baby beaks is this special little tooth, if you will, and it helps them to break through the eggs. Now, this process can take very, very short amount of time or it can take it a lot amount of time. It all depends on the bird inside. And once again, all of these eggs are not going to be hatching. But hopefully, we will get some baby chicks out of this. The baby chick, I think some of the baby chicks are peeping. They are peeping. Hmm. Let's see if we can hear it real quick. It's really quiet. It is really quiet. Nope, I think we're hearing from outside. Let's see if I can zoom in on this egg so we can see what's happening here. It does not want to focus, does it, people? Sorry. Okay, oh, there it is. So you see right there? That's where the baby bird is peeking its beak through. And it takes a while because what's going to happen is it has to take breaks and it's nibbling through everything. At the same time, the last little bit of what we would call the yolk has turned into its own source of food for that baby chicken there and it's absorbing it inside of its skin. So it needs to take this time and breaks as well to get all the nutrients that it needs well, before it comes out of the egg. Well, I knew that uh, they uh, used their beak to uh, punch holes for the eggs because I was watching a YouTube video. So yeah, it is. It's not exactly punching a hole through the yeah. egg. More of tap, tap, tapping, and then nibbling and eating through the egg until it can push the way out with its feet. What if the feet come out of the egg? Oh, feet first? I mean, that can happen. It uses its beak to get out, and then hopefully the rest of its strength to push with the rest of its body, because it's getting super cramped inside of that egg, isn't it? We'll have to keep that inside there for a little bit. Yeah. All right, we'll get back to you guys Bye. as this progresses.